Hi everyone, welcome to Channel Logics. Hope all you guys are preparing well and staying safe at your home. Since we have started our online classes in this one year span of time, we have trained several thousands of students preparing for various competitive exams. If you want to meet our expert faculty team, you can meet our expert faculty team and we are going to come across with best and unique content which will help you to crack your examinations in a smart way. We are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail and we are going to come across with best and smart approaches which will help you to crack your examinations in very short span of time. Our expert faculty team is going to teach you each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you want, you can join our free foundation batch. This free foundation batch, you need not pay any money for this. And in this free foundation batch, you can meet our expert faculty team who are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you have any doubts, you can contact us through these numbers. And we welcome you to be part of Chandan Logics. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome back to Chandan Logics. Today we'll be going to discuss 17 January 2022 current affairs. And in this session, first at the starting of our session, we'll be going to discuss descriptive concepts. At the end of our session, we'll be having a glance over practice questions. So based on the concepts, whatever we have discussed even in our previous session, so when comparing to those concepts also, we'll be going to cover practice questions. So now let us begin our session. Before going to start our session, if you want to download free PDFs of current affairs, go through telegram channel. So how to access it and how to join the telegram channel. So even link will be provided in the description once you go through it. And apart from this, if you want to watch Telugu current affairs, so regarding you have to follow through Chandan Logic's Telugu YouTube channel. There will be uploading Telugu current affairs on daily basis. So whatever the concepts we will be discussing in the English current affairs, the same concepts will be there but based on the languages will be the difference. So now let us begin our session with the descriptive concepts. So now we will be going to cover the concept under state news. So here comes to the state news. Today it is in current affair all about Kerala. As I have said that first whenever we will be coming across a state news, right? So the formula you have to follow is C square G. Capital, Chief Minister and Governor of particular state which is in current affair. Already we have covered in our previous session regarding Kerala static GK. So once go through, go back to the concept and revise it. If it is necessary and if it is possible, try to mention in comment section also so that the other aspirants can get useful with it. And now if we move to the current affair, actually why Kerala is in current affair today? Because which is actually there is significance. Kerala's Kumbalangi, which is the village in Kerala, became a significance as a India's first sanitary napkin free village. So there is a recognition for a particular village in Kerala as India's first village which is in the category called sanitary napkin free village. Then now we will be going to discuss that means what are the initiatives which was took by the specific village to come under the category. Is it clear? And also what are the steps they have been considered? And also even is there like any of our schemes under the central government to that is to get as a village in the particular category and the recognition also the significance. So now let us move into the concept. So here the Kerala's as we have discussed that a village name which is known as Kumbalangi. So first you have to ha look at a glance over the districts of Kerala. That means here actually this is a village Kumbalangi village is in the district of you have to consider here the eighth one is that Arnakulam. Is it clear? So the location you can see here which is like with a purple color that is Arnakulam district. In the Arnakulam district, the village called Kumbalangi and this Arnakulam district is in the state of Kerala. Is it clear? So for this particular village, recently it has got the recognition as India's first sanitary napkin free village. Then, now moving to the concept. What are actually the initiatives and the steps taken by the village representatives? So here moves to the concept recently as I have said that Arnakulam parliamentary constituency that is the district so in which the association with the Thingal scheme and also the HLL management academies 
and the Indian Oil Corporation. So, with uh, the only or the village has been taken the initiatives or else it has collaborated with any of the organizations. Yes, it has been even collaborated with the Indian Oil Corporation. And now, under the in, under this particular initiative, even the menstrual cups will be distributed. But that is for the women under the aged group of 18 and above, which is in the particular village, Kumbalangi village. And nearly you can see now, till now, 5000 menstrual cups will be distributed under this particular program. And the central government scheme, is it clear? So even this Kumbalangi village is also going to be, un, that means the st state representatives also announced that particular village is also going to be as a model village. That is a, another particular project you have to consider. Then, what is this model villages, right? So, this model villages will be going to cover under the central government scheme. That scheme we call it as Pradhan Mantri Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana. So, now, I hope that you were getting a doubt regarding this Pradhan Mantri Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana. Adarsh Gram is nothing but a model villages, which is the development of a model villages. That we call it as a, that, uh, as a you can see here, Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana. Then, actually in which year it was came into the scenario. This Pradhan Mantri Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the year 2014. And the objective of this particular program is the development of villages. And even regarding social, social development, cultural development and also some of the motivational programs will be conducted that means how to develop the villages. So, the overall view and the overall conclusion we can consider that under this particular scheme is the development of villages. Is it clear? So, which was launched in the year 2014. Now, under this particular Pradhan Mantri Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana, the Kumbalangi village is going to be considered as a model village. And also, a new tourist information center will also be set up in this village. And even if you can see at regarding a location, just now even we have looked into the map also regarding the Arnakulam district, right? So, if you have a glance over the brief description about this particular village, actually this is an island village located in the outskirts of a Kochi city and which is in the state of Kerala. And even this will be having a major tourist attraction and which is famous for a category called Chinese fishing nets. And also, this is the first ecotourism village in India. So, the significance is regarding Kumbalangi villages. The first significance is that it has recently, it is in current affair regarding India's first sanitary napkin free village. And the second recognition is that even this will be going to become a model village under the Pradhan Mantri Sansat Adarsh Gram Yojana. Then moving to the third significance. Third significance is that this is the first eco, eco tourism village in India. These are the three significances you have to consider. Is it clear? So, parallelly with the current affair, even the other significances also you have to know about the particular village. What is in current affair? Next, we will be moving to appointment concept. So, here comes to Adani Power. Recently, Sher Singh B. Khyalia appointed as a Chief Executive Officer of Adhani Power. So now even we will be discussing who has approved the appointment. Is it clear? Is there any board of directors or not? Or else any of a cabinets has been approved. So first we will be looking over the approval. Then moving to the part about the person. Experiences. What are the previous areas he, used, he or she used to work? Is it clear? Actually who was the person appointed in a particular position called Chief Executive Officer of Adhani Power. And now, let us have a glance over the concept. So, here comes to the approval. Actually, the approval as a CEO of Adhani Power has been approved by the Board of Directors of Adhani Power Limited and a subsidiary Adhan Group. Is it clear? So, this was the approval. And also, even you can come look, look into the concept regarding the person's previous working experiences. Right? So, here, actually he is a ch chartered accountant and also who served as a managing director in Gujarat Power Corporation. So, while working as a managing director of Gujarat Power Corporation, actually where he got the experience of the renewable power sector, especially the development of ultra mega renewable parks. So, here, your work and your first descriptive question is that, try to mention in comment section what does actually the renewable power sector means? 
is it clear so if you know the concept like renewable power sector then you can easily understand what does actually the renewable part means first you have to understand the word called renewable is it clear so that you can understand the remaining concepts is it clear everyone so the basic terminology you have to be perfect so now we'll be entering into our defense concept so here we'll be looking over the portal called raksha pension shikhayat nivaran portal so now we'll be discussing in, in detail that how this portal is going to be worked is it clear and who will be going to benefit through this particular portal right and also which ministry has played a major role for launching a particular portal called which is actually you have to know with the title itself this is regarding the pension portal then if you have look into the concept the defense minister rajnath singh recently has set up the online raksha pension shikayat nivaran portal the main objective to for launching this particular portal is that to resolve the pension related grievances who were actually regarding the ex service men in the you can see here department of ex service men welfare and also the dependents so that is the main objective to launch a particular portal is it clear this is regarding the pensions and also which is for the category called ex service men and the dependents so you have to get a clear idea here and also this portal even allow them to launch the grievances directly from the department of ex service men welfare and also this is launched on the occasion of the armed forces veterans day so try to mention in comment section as we have discussed this concept in the previous session under the concept called important days that is armed forces veterans day so on which of the following dates actually armed forces veteran day will be celebrated this is your next descriptive question try to answer for the following question and now even you can see here whatever this uh, portal has been launched recently by the defense minister this will be going to help for the related the issues which were related for the pensions that is regarding the ex service men and the dependents and also according to this uh, recently the minister also announced the and which has a fund of rupees 320 crores to the armed forces flag fund that is to clear all the backlog of pending applications of these welfare schemes and also regarding the education and even you can see here the marriage grant for the widow, widows for the or dependent children of the ex service men so some of the funds and the amount they have allocated on the special occasion is it clear so this is all about the portal called you can see here raksha pension shikayat nivaran portal so try to focus on the title of a portal and the objective and also who will be going to benefit through this particular portal the next concept regarding defense concept is that recently it is in current affair about india and russia so if it is possible after the session once you make a list of the exercises between india and as well as the other countries is it clear so first you have to make a tabular column so let us consider here make a tabular column of here the title of a exercise then just here you have to mention in the one row as india and here the other country which is going to participate with india is it clear so try to make a list of naval exercises military exercises is it clear or the maritime exercises so in this way make a separate list for each and every exercises because titles are very important and whenever they'll giving the question on the title it it will be easy but sometimes in the indirect format they'll be giving a question which is based on the other country which is participating in this particular exercise is it clear so suppose let us consider a question here so pasix exercise which was conducted between indian navy and what is the other country navy which is taking part in this particular exercise so that time maybe you will be in confused position so make it clear in the session itself that your answer should be perfect which is known as russian navy is it clear so these are the format questions which you will be raising in your past examination because you can consider the previous year question papers also maximum regarding the defense sector and this naval exercises and also the maritime exercises even military exercises the titles were important and sometimes maybe the questions will be raised on the objectives also is it clear what is the objective to conduct a particular exercise between these two navies and even you can concentrate on the periods that means we, whether this exercise will be conducted annually biannually or biannually is it clear so the terminologies were different just make it clear 
and now if we enter to the concept actually today it is in current affair about the pass x exercise so this is a exercise between indian navy and russian navy then you have to consider here based on the location where this exercise is going to take place right so this is going to conduct at the port of cochin in the arabian sea and even from indian navy indigenously designed and built guided missile the destroyer ins kochi took part in this particular exercise and regarding russian navy russian federation navy was represented by rfs admiral tribets so these were the two destroyers or else you can see the naval ships which actually took part in the particular exercise called pass x exercise and the location is it cochin port and which is in the arabian sea so try to concentrate even the location based questions also is it clear from these type of naval exercises and also what is the objective to conduct this exercise called passing exercise between india navy and russian navy the main objectives you can see which is also aimed at enhancing interoperability and even the best practices between these two countries and also the basic objective is that if certain exercises were conducting between these any of the two nations or two, more than two nations the objective is that they can share the knowledge regarding the exercises while they are conducting and also even they can focus on the best practices whatever they'll be participating and the major objective is that even the other part you can see they'll be building the friendly relationship with, with the foreign countries that means here indian india is actually going to build the friendship with, with the other countries by conducting these type of exercises is it clear this is the basic objectives but the other specific objectives regarding the particular themes and for some exercises even they'll be considering some of the particular themes also then here you can see, consider here the other exercises uh, that means the other activities which were going to take part under this pass x exercise between indian navy and russian navy along with the interoperability and also anti submarine warfare exercises they'll be going to conduct even the seamanship and according to this you can see here with the units of friendly foreign navies while listing the visiting the each other ports is it clear and actually you have to consider the location which is going to actually took part in the region called arabian sea is it clear with the concept everyone the exercise title what is the objective and what are the countries actually took part in this particular exercise and where the exercise of 2022 has been took place it is in arabian sea next we'll be moving to summits and conferences so here comes to india's digital digital summit of 2022 so 2022 digital summit represents the edition called 16th digital summit is it clear try to concentrate on the numerical areas so here comes to 16th india digital summit of 2022 then who organizes this right so is there any of a you can see here the institutions or organizations right yes here comes to internet and mobile association of india iamai has been recently organized this a particular event called the summit called india's digital summit of 2022 represents the 16th edition even now now we'll be discussing like according to this summit reports and data what are the objectives right so here comes to union minister of commerce and industry piyush goyal virtually addressed a summit which is the 16th india digital summit and the duration of this particular event or summit you can consider here which is a two day event this is a virtual event as we know that the pandemic situation so based on these considerations the event has and the summit has been considered in virtual format and also the duration is two days then actually which was organized on the scheduled dates were january 11th and 12th of 2022 and which is by the iamai here the theme they have considered for the 16th digital summit india's digital summit of 2022 was the theme is super changing startups even in our previous session we have considered about the startup day right national startup day on 16th of january right so this is to encourage the new and young entrepreneurs is it clear everyone so this is regarding the startups even you have to interlink the concept so that you can remember easily and here comes to the concept which is the theme for the digital summit which is focusing on the startups and also this is the oldest event of digital industry in india during this event even the minister unveiled about the leap 
so leap will be a forward step which is towards the further strengthening our the startup ecosystem as even the theme they have considered also the super changing startups so based on that even they have unveiled the leap actually what does this leap stands for leap stands for leverage encourage and access even promote this is it clear that is regarding the startups so this is all about the india digital summit you have to concentrate here the key focused areas were the event was actually a two day event then moving to the objectives and the theme is very much important that is 16th india's digital summit theme is super changing startups and also the objectives even you can consider under the leap is it clear then moving to the concept edition right what is the edition of 2022 represents which edition to 16th edition is it clear with the concept everyone next we'll be looking into a sports concept goalkeeper savita punia recently named as a india captain of indian women hockey team is it clear so recently a person called you can look into the image also about the person image that is savita punia recently the person has been named as a captain of women's hockey team that is india's women's hockey team and now you have to consider so based on any of our tournaments who are coming is scheduled or else not yes actually Goalkeeper Savitha Punia will lead the India team in the upcoming Women's Asia Cup in Muscat, which is as a Hockey India named a strong 18-member squad. Actually, it is. But now for this team, the person will be going to lead is that Savitha Punia. And also, even you can see the players who were participated in even in the Tokyo Olympics. So those 16 players will be also considered for this particular upcoming Women's Asia Cup. Is it clear? and you can consider here actually this tournament is scheduled between january 21st to 28th of january 2022 so you have to consider here based on the location as i have said that host places were very much important in your sports concept host places here is that regarding the women's asia cup tournament is in the muscat is it clear and which is scheduled from january 21st to 28th and even along with india what are the other teams you can consider here in this asia cup the other countries were even including china indonesia japan malaysia singapore south korea and thailand so you have to consider here seven other teams is it clear so the seven other countries along with india now we have done with our descriptive session let us look into our glance into our practice questions and that even these questions were given by considering your previous class concept and in our today's class whatever we have discussed till now so based on those concept now we'll be looking over here so first question is regarding the important days just now regarding a 16 digital summit right so we have discussed the startup day when actually the national startup day in india has been observed which of the following dates january 15th january 17th january 18th or january 16th next india's digital summit 2022 was organized virtually by the organization you have to consider here iamai is it clear so if you go free after the session once you go through the concept called the uh, regarding internet and mobile association of india actually what is the objective to establish this particular association is it clear and this event was on which edition of the annual summit as i have said that you have to concentrate on the editions is it clear with the concept everyone sometimes based on the editions even on the themes or else this particular summit was organized by which of the following organizations so at that time your answer should be what that is internet and mobile association of india which is organized then looking into the concept regarding the edition 16th 21st 7th 11th or 18th and regarding the appointments you have to consider here who has been appointed as a chief executive officer for adhani power arun rasti vibha harish vijay goyal or else sher singh b kalia and as we have discussed that even who was actually approved this is the board of directors of adhani group is it clear so the approval has been done based on this appointment for the chief executive officer for adhani power so here comes to the question about the name of a person and sometimes maybe if it is some of the important organizations so the questions will be based on the static gk of particular organization 
and moving to the person even the person's historical background also the questions may be is it clear so try to whenever you will be like covering the practice question so try to concentrate and try to recall the whole concept and the key focused areas also so that is the main objective i'll be repeating that while we are discussing the descriptive concepts try to make a running notes so that it will be helpful while you are doing your revision and next move to the concept regarding state news which of the following state panchayat is said to become the country's first sanitary napkin free panchayat even we have discussed about the pradhan mantri sansad adarsh gram yojana also try to rewind about those uh, that particular scheme because maybe from the indian government schemes the question will be is it clear so at least uh, through our sessions also by the end of your preparation you will be having a list of government schemes their objectives and launched year these were the three important areas you have to consider regarding the schemes and here comes to the question about the village called that is as we have discussed even try to mention the state name village name also is it clear which is in arnakulam district at least with this clue try to answer for the question if you look into the options andhra pradesh tamil nadu karnataka or kerala and this comes to the obituary concept actually this concept question we have didn't discussed even in our descriptive session also this is a new concept for you people so try to know about this concept and answer for this particular question so let us see how many of you will answer correctly for this particular question because even at least if we were doing the practice questions by considering some of the new concept so that parallelly you can cover with the practice questions the additional concepts also right so here comes to the obituary concept recently legendary kathak dancer has passed away which is at the age of 83 years so who is that kathak dancer and with this you have to know kathak dance this is actually which of the following state dance is it clear that means this is the particular dance related for the which of the following regions at least try to know the historical background also while you are coming across these type of questions and here if you can look into the options about the person name just have a glance over the options and go through each and every option clearly then try to answer for the question is it clear so let us see how many of you will answer correctly for this particular question because this is a new concept for you even we have not discussed in our session so this will, this question can help me to know how many of you are following the classes regularly and next come to the theme of 16th india digital summit of 2022 right so recently uh, the question was raised based on the edition of india digital summit also right so the key focused areas whatever i have repeated in our session while we are discussing the descriptive concept so here are the questions right so at least with this i think that you will get a overview that how the different format questions will be so that is why only from one concept here today in our class i have raised the two type of formats so that you can't neglect any of a area whatever the areas from particular concept see let us consider appointment concept there you have to know about the static gk of organization and also about the person's historical background so just the overview you have to get into your mind if you have followed our classes regularly i hope that till now even we have discussed from each and every concept what are the key areas to concentrate right so just make a list if it is necessary and now if we look into this uh, options about the theme of this particular summit called 16th india digital summit of 2022 which were atmanirbhar bharat start of new decade or a super changing startups enabling the new normal digital india success to excellence so try to recall the concept and answer the question in the following comment section so whatever either the descriptive questions or practice questions maybe in the part of descriptive session also while we are discussing i have raised three to four questions and in the practice session so overall you will be getting 10 to 15 questions in our daily classes so try to answer for those following questions so that you can consider this even as a daily mock test so even like at the end of your month again you have no need to go through any of a mock test if you have done perfectly and with the our preparation that is regarding the practice questions is it clear even sometimes the new questions were also involved is it clear so try to uh, listen the classes carefully and follow the classes regularly and even maintain consistency in your preparation thank you everyone we'll be meeting in our next session until then stay tuned stay safe and stay home